My name is Flora Anabaka. I'm an English literature teacher. And today I want us to look at the character, characters and the character traits of these characters in the short story A Good Turn by Oroni Tendera. First, the first character and the main character here is Wanjala. Who is Wanjala? Wanjala is a schoolboy. And uh, um, his character, he is also the son to Mr. Wafula. His father is called Wafula. Character traits are the behaviors of a person. And we get to depict the behaviors of these people through their actions through what is given to us by the writers. And in this story, we get to see that Wanjala is revengeful. He does not forgive Kororia even after Kororia has wronged him. He thinks of revenge all the way and even goes ahead to going to his home just to beat Kororia for revenge. Secondly, we see that um, Wanjala is violent. He does not, you see, if someone hurts you, instead of going to hit them with a stick, one ought to go and talk to these people and ask them even to make peace. Ask them, why did you do this to me? But we see that uh, Wanjala does not do this. Wanjala instead goes there with a stick ready to hit. And when Kororia just opens the door and he uh, begins to attack Kororia. Therefore, we'll say that he is violent. Thirdly, we see that um, Wanjala is apologetic. He is apologetic because when... Um, when uh, when Kororia uh, misses uh, the, the, the hitting from uh, Wanjala, he apologizes. He immediately apologizes. And when and this act moves, this act moves um, Wanjala, and he also apologizes. He also asked Mr. Mwembula for forgiveness for having stolen his oranges. The other character trait of Wanjala is that he is a thief. Yes, he is a thief. He stole oranges from Mr. Mwembula's orchard. Another character trait is he is ignorant. He realizes that Mr. Juma had not taken off his helmet, but he does not uh, even ask him to remove his helmet so that he can get to see him. He does not even inquire much about Mr. Juma. The only detail that, mis that makes him um, trust Mr. Juma is that Mr. Juma knows his father's name. And uh, now, uh, Wafula thinks that maybe they are friends. Now, he is ignorant. He also realizes that the motorcycle that is, uh, that is being ridden by Mr. Juma, the registration number is invisible, but he does not inquire or he does not even take caution. Another trait is that he is obedient. Um, Wanjala obeys Mr. Juma. When Mr. Juma urges him to, to, to follow him to his home, uh, Wanjala obeys and follows him. He is obedient, but he is also disobedient. When his, he disobeys his mother, when his mother asks him to stay at home and uh, uh, try to explain his problem out, 
Wanjala does not listen to his mother. Instead, he locks his mother up in the house and rushes out. The second character is Juma. Uh, Juma is the kidnapper. And uh, Mr. Juma, Mr. Juma is a kidnapper. His character trait is that he is cunning. He is cunning. In order for Mr. Juma to gain the trust of, to gain the trust of Wanjala, he just uh, tells him how, how he knows his father, and he also uh, tells him to, he offers him a ride to Coloria's home, and uh, this makes uh, Wanjala think that this person or this stranger is a good person. Another character we have is Mr. Mwembula. Mr. Mwembula um, forgives Wanjala for stealing oranges in his orchard. Therefore, we shall say that Mr. Mwembula is um, Someone who forgives easily. Again, we have Mr. Wafula, who does not play any role at, uh, at all. We only see him at the end of the story. That's it for the character and the character traits. Um, also, oh, sorry, we also have uh, another character, of course, the mother to the mother to Anjala, the, the, the mother to Anjala.